and welcome back to the small YouTube channel of Innovative Inventions, where we talk about business, engineering, and innovation. And today, I made a kinetic sand um, art machine with 3D printed material and an Arduino. And today, I'm going to share the process about how I made it. So this is the machine. It uses an Arduino Nano, um, just a normal motor, and a gear ratio to work. So I'll demonstrate how it works right now. So it works using a very basic principle. We have a motor that drives a gear in the center, which I am about to show you. And we have another gear um, around, like on the side of it being guided by the driven gear, which has a magnet on it and controls the ball bearing to make art. So this does not use a stepper motor like a 3D printer. So I can put the ball precisely where I want it. It's just one gear ratio, so it can only make one pattern. But I made it like that because it's a thousand times percent simpler to make it and I wanted this to be a very easy project to make. So also that you saw is there's lights and these knobs right here can control the brightness of the light and the pattern that the lights make. So we have different colors and it's just a potentiometer and the Arduino can sense the resistance in the potentiometer and change the light, the color the effect, as you can see, uh, have a little fading color effect right here where it changes. And we have this common effect right here. And another problem that I have with this is, really the main problem is the noise. The noise that the motor makes is, is just terrible. I gotta find a much quieter motor. And also the ball rubbing up on the plastic in the sand, it all, that all actually creates more noise than the motor but I don't know how to solve that at all. So this is the inside of it. Uh, I made it a little too thick, which if I make this again, I would probably make it thinner. It just uses a basic yellow motor with a three volt motor and a gear ratio to make it slower. Um, Arduino Nano right here, and then all the wires that hook up to the potentiometer, the on off switch, other potentiometer. Another bad thing about this too is I did not have a motor controller so I had to improvise and I had an old TV in my room so I just took some resistors out of it wired it up in series and parallel so I get the right resistance while trying to minimize the heat that these resistors produce this is very inefficient and probably not the best way to do it but it's just what I had on hand and I don't really plan on running this thing too much so this is how the machine actually draws we have the neodymium magnet right here this is the driven gear, and this is the other gear. I don't know what this gear is called on the outside with the um, teeth all around it like this, but that just helps keep this driven gear in track. So as it spins, this gear also spins, and it creates a straight line, and then when it comes this way, it creates another straight line. And then when it goes on the other side, it's offset just by a little bit, so the next line comes this way. And it's all about the ratio of these gears. So if the teeth have a different ratio, it would create a totally different design. But this star shaped design that I made, I, I really liked it. So I just kept with it. And the reason I made this too is just simplicity. I don't have a whole bunch of stepper motors and stepper motor um, drivers for me to make some type of art that can make whatever I want. And also I want to use an Arduino, not a Raspberry Pi for this because it's significantly cheaper. If I use a Raspberry Pi, it might have um, been able to create what I wanted. But I'll put all my designs um, in the description below. So if anybody wants to make this, they can use it and see it. So thanks for watching. If you want to see any more content on engineering, innovation, and business, please subscribe and follow for more. I have a, my next project will be an Iron Man rocket glove right here, 3D printed. So that should be coming out later this month.